This mobile phone footage shows moments after a gunman was disarmed by passengers on a train in France two days ago. The man, identified by French and Spanish sources as Ayub El Kazani, is seen with a Kalashnikov assault rifle as passengers overpower him. Spanish counterterrorism sources says that the 26-year-old Moroccan was under surveillance when he lived here in the El Saladillo neighborhood of Algeciras, Spain, where his parents still live. Kamal Chedad is the president of the local Muslim community. He was an ordinary young man. He played football, went fishing, he worked to make a living. But European authorities suspect Kazani of being an Islamist militant. However, his lawyer, Sophie David, says Kazani told her he's surprised by the terrorist accusations and that he only intended to rob the passengers of their money. When I remind him of why he's there, he's stunned by the terrorist nature given to his actions. For the attempted murder charge, he says it's not true because, for him, there was no gunshot. He can't deny the charge for carrying a weapon. He says he had the Kalashnikov, but that it didn't work and that he was stopped immediately without any gunshot being fired. Two people were wounded in the struggle aboard the high-speed train from Amsterdam to Paris on Friday. Three Americans, one of whom suffered knife wounds, were among the passengers who stopped the attack. And then I was able to grab him again.